A photography exhibit at Selby Gardens that uses NASA-like technology is giving guests a view of flowers usually reserved for bees and butterflies. Misha Kirby from Selby Gardens gives us a look inside. The rare and exotic flower portraits by photographer David Leeser are on display at Selby Gardens now through the end of the year. Set among the living collection of Selby Gardens Tropical Conservatory, the images created by Leeser go far beyond what the human eye can see. The exhibit was coordinated by the Selby and by State of the Arts Gallery to bring these really award-winning photographs to the Lights and Bloom Festival. It's a new technique that you couldn't even do 10 years ago, where I'm taking literally 25 or 100 photographs of the exact same flower at different focal points, layering them together and creating a composite that gives you really a bee's eye view of the flower. Some of these flowers are the size of a thumbnail. And when you see them blown up enormously and you see this incredible detail, I think they have a different appreciation for nature. I had uh, one collector who uh, purchased a piece from me and said that she wanted to have this in the front of her home. So when people came in, it lowered their blood pressure and made them smile. My first botanical photographs were taken in 2002 at the Selby of the palm trees that turned into a palm tree uh, piece of work. The Selby is a very special place for me. I, I always come here every time I'm on holiday and I come to Sarasota. I'd like to take a, at least a lap around the garden to see what's changed. There's a lot of inspiration here. It's just beautiful. There's a rare collection. I think when people stop and they look closely, they see rare plants that they may have never seen anywhere else before. And in this work, the same thing is true. Some of these flowers are rare and exotic plants. Some have been lost to civilization or cultivation for hundreds of years. For example, some of the tulips in the collection died off in the 1600s, but bulb collectors have kept them alive for hundreds of years. I find these rare, you know, rare specimens, photograph them, and you know, bring them to uh, people to see. This is a tulip that was lost to cultivation in the early 1900s. It's a broken tulip. It had a virus that created these beautiful striations. And they were very popular during the tulip craze in the 1600s, but they fell out of favor because they caused the collapse of the Dutch economy. But finding these rare bulbs and then bringing them into these images is really what my work is all about. And I started taking these flower photographs and people found an interest in them. And now I have this heightened sense of awareness for, for these beautiful things. Some of these flowers, like I said, are the size of a thumbnail. You would walk on them as a ground cover. But when you see them enlarged like this, you stop and you look and you think a little more about nature, I think, than you did before. David's work showcases the serenity and natural beauty that Selby Gardens is committed to conserving. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the